going on dudes? It's your dude, JB Dude, and welcome back to Genshin Impact. Picking up where we left off. Uh, what did I do again? I completely forgot what I did last episode. Oh yeah, I forgot that last episode, um, picking up where we left from last episode, we, um, went through the teapot quest and we finally completed it, which allowed us to gain the Serenity Teapot, um, uh, which, which involves us accessing the inside world of the, of the teapot. Where we can create our own uh, biome land um, and put some creativity of buildings and characters and land land stuff, everything, kind of like a free roam uh, sand sandbox build building place. So that was pretty cool. But now we're back in the real world, unfortunately, uh, with rain pouring in. Don't know why it's happening. But the good news is there's been an update to the game um, of it, um, from the last update we had. Um, I don't know what details have been added to it, but I'm going to be going through them um, as I go. This is pos this is a new event, I'm guessing, that has happened. After Treasure Trace, which is somewhere in Natlands, but I, I don't have that world open at the moment. So that is not... Um, not important, unfortunately, and obviously some new stuff that I was just going through as well. But yeah, no, apparently nothing new um, so far at the moment. Now I'm here in Liyue Harbor, same place where I um, went through the Serenity Teapot. Now the reason being I've come back here is that I'm back doing a another Archon quest similar to our Inazuma quest that we're doing at the moment as our main story quest. Uh, which involves um, freeing Masa, Masakatsu, I think that's how you say it, which we'll um, come back to him sooner or later. But first we're back back here because uh, this was involving Ning, Ning Wan's Jade, Jade Chain Palace uh, competition that we went through. Um, but right now we're just going down to the ground to do, do a cutscene. Oh yeah, and Shane Hay is with us. Just gonna sit back my legs. What is she doing? Hmm. This place was hidden using a special Adepti art. But now that I have removed it, we can inspect the area more closely. Okay. Wow, that's amazing! Yep, let's take another look around. Hey, look! Let's is that a new ceiling? Looks like it. Might as well follow it. Follow the ceiling. Which is pretty simple because that's one of the things um, that we follow to gain, uh, to unlock hidden treasure chests. So let's see where this takes us. Okay. And then just disappear. Oh, looks like an event that we must take on. Recommended party level 82. Oh, that, that sucks. Because I wanted to try this um, party that I um, uh, thought about using for this episode. But because it's level 82, they're not strong enough to do so. Even though I've upgraded Yanfei um, a lot. Oh, by the way, um, a new thing I've added as well, guys. As you can see from the list of party status I have. I've added more party groups that I've had. And I've also lab labeled them as each uh, title for each thing, so I know which is for what and what I um, label labeled as um, for when in future I might use different parties for each episode, you know. But but apparently because of the but because of the power level this one will have, I'll have to use my bet best party, um, which is my main party. So we're gonna use this group to take on this challenge. Weren't we at a waterfall just now? How did we suddenly end up here? Because we went through a special waterfall that has an entrance to another world. Oh, so many clouds. It feels like we're high up in the sky. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I believe this is the abode of that Adeptus. With oh. any luck, the sunset vermilion night we're looking for should be in here. Okay. Really? Let Paimon see! Huh? Isn't that the ceiling from before? It sure is. Look, it's gone and snuck beneath the clouds. 
Must be something serious below those clouds that we must discover. And now that Paimon takes a closer look, the rocks and trees here don't seem complete. Oh, could there be something below the clouds? I'm pretty sure too, Paimon. What do you think, Shenny? These are not real clouds. They are the product of an adepti art used for spatial partitioning. Okay. If we want to go down, we must first destroy the mechanism that is maintaining the adepti art. Oh, okay. All right, then let's do gotcha. it. Yeah, let's I do it. I sense the presence of monsters in this place. I don't know where they are hiding, so we'd better be careful. All right, then. We shall be careful. And the fight of a is Shenhei for this demonstration. Let's see how well her abilities are. Um, so how do we do this? How do we do this? Oh, okay. Um, run across the clouds, I guess. <laughs> I did not think that was a thing. I see something up ahead, but I'm not gonna bother to. Here we go. Obey. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, you... Alright, I sent you flying. Oh, I... F I forgot the clouds cover a platform. Might as well destroy him. Best way. There we go. Alright, so how do we do this? Do I have to light this up? How do you do this? I don't get it. There's gotta be something I'm missing here. Oh, yep, now I do. Now I got it. Took me a while, guys. Good thing I have Eula on my team. She can break break those uh, Geo rocks as quickly as possible. I was wondering where, where the Animo wind is. Alright. There we go. Place that. Oh. Oh, there's something over there. Oh, it's a chest! Let's see what's inside. Ah, oh, it's a common chest. Nothing helpful. Oh well. You can go over here now. Now, where's that last one? Right here. More speed. Doing good, Yula. We've op opened the thing that's over there. <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore, ignore those enemies. It appears that we've been taken for intruders. Oh. This time, why not allow me to take care of this? Alright. If you say so. Okay. Manifest. Cry Here you go, Shade. Boom. Some pow powerful attacks there. Obey. I don't think she's strong enough to take on these characters. Uh, these slimes. I'm gonna send them flying. What? Okay. Definitely not strong. Manifest. Oops. Oh, it's a threat that Shenae's available character is str stronger than I expected. The core of the mechanism is exposed. Now's our chance. Okay. I'm just gonna trust trust um, this Shenae char character's um, power and ability. Because apparently it's strong enough to take take this on. Almost there. And bam, done. What just happened? Whoa, we, we oh, we've gone through the clouds. Oh! My curse. Ow! Oh, and I just lost Shenay because of that. 
Oh, was I supposed to activate my, um, was I supposed to, um, do a pounding ability? It looks like we need to go through the bounds. Probably supposed to do but that. that Oops. Let's destroy the guard mechanisms on this level first. Crush! More speed. Wait, why? Why do my characters stop? Oh, because I ran out of stamina. Stamina, that's why. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. I thought you were going to do the other attack. Okay. No, I need Yula for this one. Aw, oh, man. I gotta t take on this guy now. Well, at least Yula is strong for that. Ah, uh, now I wish I did have Shenny. What? How did that hit me? That's baloney. Okay, finally taken care of. Now let's quickly finish this thing. Okay, we've finally taken care of it. That was really annoying. Oh, it looks like we now we got got a rune god to take take on now. We're gonna fall. This time we're really gonna fall. <laughs> yeah, we sure are. Luckily, there was a pool of water at the bottom. Otherwise, that could have ended very differently. <laughs> yeah, def definitely. I okay. wish that was at the first first time when I had Shanae out. Something looks different about this stone wall. Let's take yeah, a closer is. look. You just gotta push it. Uh huh. So there's a chest here. Cool. Uh, it's not gonna budge. So, am I missing? Some? Oh wait, it's this way, isn't it? Oh, I forgot there was. A I didn't notice there was another one here. Okay. Okay. Let's can I push both of them? Oh, I guess I can, but not much. Um. Okay, so this must be the way to go. Wait, where's the door of res resurrection? So I need that. Uh, where is it? Where is it? I need it. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna revive by Shen Shenny because I need need her for this occasion. I'll protect us. <laughs> this thing's very important, and I need her. At no escape! Oh, oh damn it, really? Go, Barbara. Ah, that didn't help. And it waits for five Oh, I have to wait till another hundred seconds. Great. Alright. Guess I'll just take these guys on with my own care my own characters. There we go. Two of them down already. This guy's almost dead. I'm getting through this okay guys. Don't get me wrong. Crush. Okay. Any time. No? Okay. Miss me. Okay. Let's get this done and dusted quickly. Ah, oh, great. Oh, not one of these guys. They're really annoying. Alright, time to time to burn you a bit. Beg for mercy. Oh, at least I can freeze him, that's good. Okay, let's revive uh Shane. Heal her up by doing this. I'll actually do this. That's quicker, better. Manifest. There we go. Unleash. 
Master's bidding. Boom. There we go. Now let's finish this. Ah oh, man, didn't finish it that time. So I really do do need to face on the ring gods this time around. Well, at least I can do this. Put them um, vulnerable like this. Oh, darn it. Oh, come on. I don't like when I have to face two ru rune gods at once. It's worse when it's more of them. Blood of frost. Okay, that did a lot of damage. That's really good. Oh, god dang it. Not this again. Please. I think the spinning attack is the worst one for these rune gods. Now, ultimate villain. Let's go. Okay, one of them's almost dead. Come on. Obey. And ultimate again. Okay, now let's finish this thing. Okay, we destroyed it. We destroyed those things. Oh, man, man, that was annoying to me. But I managed to get through it. Alright, search for the sunset for millionites. That includes following the seals again. Sealies. I will say, Shenhei's abilities Look, are there. really strong. Could that be a sunset for millionite? That could be it. This little thi thing is helping us get um, get to where we need need to be to find what we're looking for. And there we go. Oh, and like I said before, following these things um, will get us to a chest. And there you go. All right. So what do we do about this? Is this it? Is this the sunset vermilionite? It's gotta be. So is the Jade Chamber. That's true, but then again, why isn't it floating? Okay, well... Falstrate doesn't float until it's activated. It may look different from most ordinary stones, but it weighs around the same amount. Okay. Only after being activated does Plostrite reveal its true nature, breaking free from the shackles of the mortal realm and ascending up into the heavens. Wow, okay. Shenha. You seem to know everything about this. Only because my master is fond of chatting about these things. The moment she has some time to spare, she'll come straight for me and start telling story after story. Okay. I don't care for her stories most of the time. I certainly didn't expect them to ever come in handy like this. I wonder who this master is. Hold on a sec. Hyman just realized something. Hiya? Uh... If we activate it here, there's no way we'll be able to get it back to the site, right? Heck, we'll be dragged up into the sky, too! But if we don't activate it, how else are we gonna lift it? This rock must weigh well over a thousand pounds, surely! No duh, Paimon. But you definitely got a point there. Don't worry. I can handle the weight quite easily. Uh, really? Are you sure? Uh, be careful! Yeah, what Paimon said. Please, don't worry. I'm well aware that a Plostrite sample this large must be highly valuable. I will be gentle with it and make sure it does not get damaged. Okay. Well, it's your safety you have to be careful of. My safety? Yes. That's right! I'm unsure you can handle it and everything, but if something this heavy lands on you, you're gonna get yourself hurt, no matter who you are! You gotta be extra careful when lifting heavy objects. It's just common sense. Hmm. Hmm. Is it now? Hmm. Well then, thank you. I'll go no on worries. ahead with the plostrite. Let's meet at the building site later. All right then. 
Shine lift up the plus dragon. Oh, Shenhe able to carry that huge rock all by herself. She must have some really good power. Super strength, much? Mm, we can't slow down yet. Let's go meet her at the building site. Right on, Paimon. There she is. Who is she talking to? Oh my God! I can't believe my eyes. How can she lift that oh, massive yeah, that's rock right. all by herself? She's got to be one of those adepti, surely. Oh, mighty adeptus, please give me your blessing so that in the coming year I may reap a more bountiful salary. This is top tier in size and quality, and the condition it's in is quite simply immaculate. Congratulations, this item is approved for submission. Hmm, way to go, Shane. I'm going to award you full marks for the Sunset Vermilionite item. May I take your name? My name isn't important. I'm not even here to compete. I was just delivering this for some other people. They should be here any minute now. Shenhe, and Ningguang's little helper! My one. Ah, so you're the ones behind this. No wonder. The rarest talent turns in the rarest plastrite specimen. Well, well... But I have to correct you on one point. It's not helper, it's secretary. Yeah, Paimon, it's not helper. <laughs> okay then! Miss Secretary, what do you think of the rock we found? Pretty amazing, right? In truth, it is the finest piece of plostrite we have received so far. If everything goes according to plan, we will use this piece in the foundation of the Jade Chamber, which will enable us to proceed to the next stage of construction. All right, then. As a side note, Lady Ningguang has rented some dwellings in the nearby area to serve as accommodations for the contestants. If you need a place to rest, you are welcome to stay there. Well, thanks, Byman. Now, please excuse me. As you can see, there is still a lot of work to do on the building site. That's fa fair call, since I've got a lot of quests to take on as well. Shenhe! Shenhe! Just now on the way over, pretty much everyone was singing your praises! Oh, really? What kind of reaction is that? So strange. Aren't you happy about it? I think she has different, um, different manners and different opinions, Paimon. Whenever Paimon gets praised, Paimon can't help but hold her head up high and break into a big smug smile. I think Shenhei has some other, other, uh, thoughts that she has going on. I've had similar compliments before. Oh? They call me an so, adeptus. So treat me with great deference and respect, as if I'm set apart from the common folk. Oh. Yeah, cause that's how adept I are. At least the ones we've met are pretty unique and reclusive too. Way different than normal people. But uh, I am not... Uh... It, it's alright, Shenhe. Shenhe? Are you, wait, are you alright? I'm fine. I've been exerting myself quite a lot ever since we set foot in that abode. Uh, I'm just a little fatigued. Oh, I see. Um, well, Byron said that there are some makeshift hotels we can use, right? Let's go check in and take a rest. Yeah, let's do that. <sighs> no need. I simply need to find myself a secluded place in the wilderness to sit and meditate in silence. Oh, okay. You can't do that. It's dangerous out in the wild on your own. Uh, I don't think it's dangerous uh, to Shenna, if I'm on. Because I think she can handle it. When you're hungry, you go eat something tasty. And when you're tired, you go lie down in a nice, comfy bed. Alright? Seriously, don't punish yourself like this. Guest accommodations are far more comfortable than the wilderness. Okay. If you insist. Hmm. Great! Now we're talking. Let's head to our hotel. Alrighty then. Hi there. Checking in, are we? You're just in time. We only have two rooms left. Perfect. Since this was chosen as the building site for the new Jade Chamber, we've had a constant stream of people in this area. And not just workers either. Visitors, business people, tea sellers, all sorts. Okay. So. Business is booming for me today. Very few vacancies. You're lucky you got here when you did. Great. Okay. One of your rooms is still being cleaned. I, I guess it should be ready within the hour. The other room is just at the door on the left. Okay. Here are your keys. All right. 
Hope you enjoy your stay. Please excuse me, I'll leave you to it. Thanks, Juan. Sure, huh? You should go get some rest. We'll hang around outside until the other room's ready. Yeah, that's right. Paimon's gonna go see if there's anything good to eat around here. <laughs> All right, Paimon. Paimon couldn't help but notice one of the guests walk in with a huge grilled chicken drumstick before. Is that so, Paimon? Let's buy one for Shenhua, too. She can have it as a midnight snack. Or save it for breakfast tomorrow. All right. All right. I will head to my room for now. Okay. If you need anything, don't hesitate to disturb me. I'm a light sleeper. I will hear if you knock on the door. Have a good rest, Shenai. Mm-hmm. See you tomorrow. Right. See you tomorrow. Well, there you have it. Isn't that Cloud Retainer? <gasps> What's she doing it's her. here? Yeah, we should. Talk to Cloud Retainer. I was just about to say, um, uh, once, once, um, after she, after Shanae has gone to her room, um, we'll get her some, something later on, but let's talk to Cloud Retainer since she's here. One trust you have met Shen He. So, are you getting along quite well? Yes, we are. So far, so good. Yeah. So, you know Shenhua too, Cloud Retainer? Are you two related in some way? Naturally. Save for Ganyu, who spends the majority of her yeah, time my waifu. in Yue Harbor. <laughs> All the Adepti living today are acquainted with Shenhu to some degree. Cool. So, what's her Adeptus name anyway? Calling her Shenhua feels kind of friendly, but also kind of disrespectful. So Paimon's thinking, maybe it'd be better if we called her by her Adeptus name instead. Are you sure that's a good idea, Paimon? Her Adeptus name? Why, pray tell, would Shen He have an Adeptus name? Uh, don't all Adepti have a special title they go by? No, that's not it. On this latter point, you are correct. Oh. However, Shen He is human. What? Oh, oh, right. Wait, what? Never would have guessed. I'm a neither. This is a real surprise. Mm -hmm. Do you mean to say that she presents differently from ordinary human beings? No, I just thought there was a connection with her and you and all the other dead type. Well, to start with, her problem solving methods are extremely direct. Ah, oh, yes. She was like this all those years ago when one first met her. In this respect, she has not changed. One first found Shanha by chance in a cave. One was passing by and sensed the presence of a god's remains. Being of an ever vigilant disposition, one entered immediately to inspect the scene. Inside was Shanha, then aged around six years old. In her hand, she held a dagger with which she was confronting a monster that was the god's remains incarnate. Oh. That sounds so dangerous. Yeah. When one arrived, she had already been locked in confrontation with this monster for several days. Most mortal children are fragile, both physically and mentally, and are highly reliant on their parents for survival. But not so her. That she was able to endure such terrible danger was due not only to her strong willpower, but also to the bloodlust and homicidal instinct with which she was born. Oh. One dealt with the monster, yet she still refused to lower her guard. She even pointed her dagger in one's direction and remained ready to strike. Only after she was satisfied that one had no intention to cause her harm, did she finally relent. She then passed out without uttering a single word. Wow. In other words, if you hadn't passed by that day, Shenhua might have... Not necessarily. Upon one's arrival, one could sense that the god's wrath was gradually receding. Even had the stalemate continued, one suspects that Shen He may have still emerged the victor of the confrontation. 
Okay. That's still so dangerous, though. Why was a tiny little kid battling against the wrath of a god in the first place? Maybe, maybe there was some something about Bella that that just made made her want to take on take on that challenge. Alas, the mortal world is rife with suffering of every kind, and she had experienced her fair share of this even at a tender age. Seeing that she was homeless, one decided to adopt her. So when Shen He talks about her master, she means... Indeed. It is one to whom she refers. Shen He has an extraordinary constitution, making her well adapted to practicing the Adepti arts. All the Adepti cherished her talents, and so we were willing to train her. However, I see. her homicidal urges did not subside with age. Rather, they grew stronger day by day. Mooncarver once performed a divination for her. He declared that her fate is to bear the curse of calamity. Consumed by malevolent energy, she is prone to bring harm to those around her. Such is the magnitude of the danger this poses. That her soul must be bound with red ropes to keep her homicidal instinct at bay. The red ropes have indeed served to keep her calmer and more content. They also seem to have rendered her somewhat inexpressive. Perhaps the red ropes are so powerful that they have suppressed some of her other emotions as well. It is only by fate that people's paths may cross. Now that Shen He's path has crossed with yours, please be sure to treasure the gift that fate has given you, and take good care of her. I see. Oh, now Paimon gets it. You came out here to check up on Shen He because you were worried about her, didn't you? Makes sense. Huh. You dare draw such a facile conclusion on the nature of one's present excursion? Incorrect. The truth is that while Liyue Harbor may seem peaceful today, danger is always lurking in the shadows. That also makes sense, because that ha happens every once in a while in this world. Ningguang once made a bold assertion that this is to be the era of the contract between Liyue and the humans. Well... One is most curious to observe how she will respond to the coming storm. If she handles it admirably, one is willing to be a witness to her achievements. But if she does not, the Adepti shall not hesitate to seize control. Oh. Let us conclude our conversation here for today. One has occupied enough of your time, and night is approaching. Be sure to get ample rest. Okay then. Man, that so, death. Shen He isn't an adeptus after all. She just grew up around the adepti. I guess that makes sense. Oh, well, that no wonder she doesn't like being treated as an adeptus. Having everyone falling over themselves to show their respect all the time must be kind of hard to deal with. Yeah, def definitely caught my attention to what what I thought about Shen He from from the little detail that I know, know about her to now. That, um, that definitely, that has definitely crossed my mind on no, knowing Shen He. I didn't know this about, about her not being an Adepti, but um, being around Adepti and gaining some power or something like that. So, base, so we're definitely gonna have to keep an eye on Shen He and see how well she is doing with, with all of this stuff that Cloud Retainer has been talking to us about. Uh, looks like there might be something else about, um, that we can talk to Claritain about, maybe. A human raised by the Adepti is precisely what Liyue needs right now. It is also what the Adepti wish to give to Liyue. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, this definitely, um, that, that conversation we had with Claritain telling us a story about, about Shen He and with the connections between humans and, uh, Adepti at Liyue Harbor. It is def definitely some something that help helps keep keep the place strong but also uh different 
uh, species being together without causing trouble to e each side. So I can definitely see how we can um, help help keep keep a um, keep a lookout for Shenha on what she's doing. Um, but ob obviously we'll keep doing that while we're doing the quest on reconstructing the J-Pals in the competition. But anyways, that is all the time I have for this episode, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to help this channel grow. If you guys like these videos, make sure you hit that like button. If you guys have any other suggestions, make sure you leave a comment down below. Next episode, we're going to continue on with this quest uh, with Shenha about, uh, about the J-Jade Palace quest. Ooh. While also doing the other main <sighs> quest, if I have time to get back to Inazuma um, to check on uh, my cat's Masakatsu, I think that's how you say it, but I can't remember. Um, and see how, how he's feeling from being locked up in jail after we broke him out, out of it. And, uh, oh! I almost forgot. Uh, before, before I do any, anything else, uh, before I end this off, I almost forgot to. Um, I just need to go to the shop to quickly do something. Um, actually, actually, no, I'll save it for next episode uh, at the beginning and I'll show you, show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, which I'll do uh, wishing for banners next episode um, and I'll try to do e everything else I'm gonna do different for next episode if possible or just whatever shenanigans I might pull off for next episode but until then thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time